You're not busy. Lend a hand. Surely you felt the necroquakes, Vault Hunter. It must be Mallor One's doing. Right. Quake time, best time. As you can see, Sparrow finds the necroquakes fun and cool. But if they continue, this planet will be torn apart and everything will perish. Which is objectively not cool. You must use those beacons to discover the source of the quakes. Take some explosives as well, just in case. To start, place the first beacon. We must triangulate the beacons to determine the necroquake source. You can't create a triangle without three points. No, don't get out paper. I know triangles. Triangles are rad. No, no. You are missing the point, Sparrow. If the quakes do not stop, we could all perish. Whatever! Triangles! Picking up a radio frequency, meaning you have successfully placed the beacon, instead of being consumed by nightmare beasts. If Sparrow had half the survival skills you possess, we would have already tamed this inhospitable planet. I've got survival skills. Watch. You are currently on fire. Oh, crap! Wait. No, I'm not. Uh, you got me. I have noted an additional frequency, meaning instead of being torn asunder by voracious animals, you have placed the other beacon. Good. Now I will triangulate. One moment. Grouse, you're on fire! Look! Grouse! Hey! Please, Sparrow, I'm trying to concentrate. Okay, send you new coordinates, Salt Hunter. Interesting. <laughs> The necroquakes are coming from a subterranean abscess or cave in common parlance. We will create an opening with the explosives. Called it. Catch it! Do not do that. Come on, it'll be 
Swooping in! Uh. <laughs> Descending! Hi. Uh. The necroquakes have stopped. Thank you, Vault Hunter. Our survival is assured. For now. <laughs> 